Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and in this tutorial I shall explain a little bit about a nephron uh, the, which is the structural and functional unit of kidney and this is the third tutorial of this playlist uh, you know that I have already uploaded two tutorials based on the human excretion which is the first part was uh, the, the, the structure of the excretory system and the second part was a little bit description about kidney and in this video uh, we will focus on nephron so we know that nephron is the structural and functional unit of you can say kidney or even you can say the respiratory uh, system at first we need to know that each kidney there is about 1.0 to 1.2 million nephron per kidney so what is the function of this number of nephron to know it we need to know that the structure of nephron first and and something we should we should need to know the visualization of the process think about it you know that this is the structure of nephron and where it actually lies if you think that this is the kidney and this is another kidney and you see that from both kidney there is the hyalur and this is actually the ureter so you know that both kidney produce ureter and each ureter comes with the urinary bladder so you know that this is the uh, funnel shaped uh, organ where is the bladder and the last part of urethra so you know that in this kidney the external layer is the cortex and the inner layer which is medulla so the renal pyramid which is situated in the medulla so the the nephron it lies in between this cortex and medulla so this is the nephron if i just make it a larger so this is the nephron which is lies in the cortex and medulla so you see the structure and now you see this one or even you can see the picture which is drawn in your book if you see closely it has two part if i just if i just make the nephron individually nephron then we will find there is two segment of the nephron number one this one this one is one part and this one is another part this part is known as renal renal corpuscle or you can say that malpigian body so we can say the first one is renal corpuscle or malpigian body and the second part i mean that this one is known as renal tubule so simply you can say this is renal corpuscle rc and this is rt or renal tubule so in this case we can say that this is renal tubule and now you see in the renal corpuscle side this cup which is epithelial cup this is the cup which is made up of some epithelial tissue and this cup is known as like a capsule this is bowman's capsule and in this bowman's capsule there is a space where there will be like 50 to 60 capillaries will be formed from the renal artery so when a part of renal artery is entering to the glomerulus this part is known as that is coming which is afferent which is afferent minded this is efferent and this one which is coming out this is efferent so you can remember by the efferent is incoming the efferent is incoming and efferent is outgoing so through the renal artery you know that we know that when from from the dorsal aorta 
from the dorsal aorta when it is coming then one channel is going through the kidneys and this is the renal artery so when the renal artery enters to the kidney it actually segmented through this afferent artery and then when afferent artery is coming inside inside the glomerulus then it creates this you know 50 to 60 capillaries together and this is glomerulus so in renal capsule we can say that it has two part number one Bowman's capsule Bowman's Bowman's capsule and the other part is glomerulus glomerulus okay so this is the cup shaped which is known as Bowman's capsule and the artery the efferent artery is coming and creating these capillaries and then going out so this is afferent arteriole and this is efferent arteriole like this this one is afferent is entering to the bonus capsule and then creating the net like channels and then it's coming out the efferent artery and then this renal cord muscles is made up of Bowman's capsule and glomerulus. It's the renal tubule. This is the tubule which is made up of some series of things. So renal tubules will be have four part. Number one, that is this one. It's said proximal. That is nearer. So we can say this one is proximal convoluted that means you know shrinked convoluted tubule this part is convoluted the second part which is a narrow shape and uh, this is known as loop of Henle the, this is known as loop of Henle the other part which is actually uh, 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 just a little bit far and this is known as distal distal convoluted tubule this is distal convoluted tubule and this one is known as collecting tubule collecting tubule so what are the parts of that sequentially the first one proximal convoluted tubule the second one loop of Henley, the third one, distal convoluted tubule, and the fourth one is collecting tubule. And this is the this is simply the part of the nephron. And you must know the renal corpuscle part has only two things that is glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. You must know one thing that this is just I'm just informing the name only but inside there is a lot of things lot of information regarding each single part of it the functions the structure the diameter the length each and every single thing are there i'm not explaining right now in this level because this is uh, ssc and o level structure and then when i'll explain about a level then i shall explain what are the important figures and what are the informations behind this each and every single part so now I hope you understand this I also hope you understand this you know that this is the kidneys and thereafter now can you remember what are the channels what are the pathway of urine blood to urine if you can remember this one so I hope you know the, the, the flowchart of the urine so the flowchart is it will be like that. So if you can remember, the flowchart will start from where? Think about the kidneys, the external morphology of kidneys when artery is coming from the dorsal aorta. So think about first dorsal aorta. From then, from dorsal aorta, it will go to the renal artery so renal artery when renal artery 
will sigma get into afferent arteriole. So this is afferent, afferent arteriole. And then from afferent arteriole it will go to the glomerulus. Okay? It is going to glomerulus. From glomerulus, then afferent arteriole it will be outgoing. Then it comes to the Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule. From Bowman's capsule, it's coming to the proximal convoluted tubule. From proximal convoluted tubule to the loop of Henle. From loop of Henle, it's coming from the distal convoluted tubule. From distal convoluted tubule to collecting tubule. And then all the connected tubules, it's heading towards renal pelvis. So from this, it will go to renal pelvis. From renal pelvis, it will go to the ureter. Ureter. And then from ureter, it will be stored in the urinary bladder. And from urinary bladder, it will go to urethra and then to urethra it should be excretion. So this is the flowchart of the kidneys inside. You see that it will start from dorsal aorta to the renal artery to the efferent artery. Now you see the picture glomerulus, Bowman's capsule, then the renal tubule will go to renal pelvis to the outside of the kidney which is ureter urinary bladder, urethra and excretion. So this is a simply a flowchart about uh, the, the inside and outside of the kidneys and I hope you understand the nephron also. So this is a very simple explanation. I hope you enjoy the tutorials. If you find any trouble or if you face any sort of difficulties to understand the process, what's going on and to visualize the scenario, just let me know in the Facebook page or in the comment sections of this YouTube channel. I shall be much more grateful to have your feedback and I'll definitely answer your questions properly. So see you in the next video. Take care. Stay well.